wonderful news in the New Year's honours, Sophie Pascoe has become a Dame Companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit. So Dame Sophie Pascoe <laughs> is with us. Huge congratulations. What does an honour like this mean for you? Thank you. Um, oh, I mean, it's very overwhelming and it's a huge honour and I very much accept it with um, pride. You know, it's uh, when I first received the email, it was, oh my goodness, really? <laughs> um, and I had to ring my nana straight away um, because Rob was at work and um, it was something I wanted to talk about in person. So um, yeah, I'm, I very much am a proud Kiwi and to be able to accept this title, it's, yeah, it's a massive honour. Yeah, I mean, a lot of accolades have come your way, mainly for, for being such a good swimmer, but this is something else entirely, isn't it? Uh, it sort of goes across, um, you know, the whole of your contribution, not only in the pool, but the way you've advocated for, um, you know, for so many communities. Does it mean a little bit more than, than you know, I know your gold medals are huge, but it, it, does it mean something slightly different? Absolutely. I think, you know, if we if we say, you know, services to swimming, it's it, it covers around an all round um, part of who I am and in terms of not just my achievements in the pool, but, you know, of being, you know, an advocate for equality with people with disabilities. And, you know, that's so important to me and in, in, in changing that and people's perceptions around people with disabilities. And so, you know, the fact that I can make a positive impact in people's lives through what I do, um, that's what makes me so humble by ac accepting this because, you know, I, I do what I love. And, and it was actually a little bit of a, you know, I had to think about accepting this, um, a, 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 what, this title because, you know, I know there's so many others out there in New Zealand that have done more than myself. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, the calibre that I am joining, um, you know, in, in the New Year's Honours list is, yeah, incredible. And I feel very privileged to be um, part of that group now. What have been the reasons for your sustained and consistent success in the pool? Gosh. <laughs> um, <laughs> look, I mean, there's... It, it really comes down to my why and you know I've been doing this for you know 15 years at, at the top level and um, you know I think when I look back uh, you know so much of that drive and dedication has come from my adversity but it all also comes with a story and the story I've grown up with from you know two and a half years of age being um, you know different being a minority in a majority society and wanting to make such a um, you know, positive impact with what I do. It could have been a very different outcome if, it, you know, we took it as a family in a negative aspect and, you know, we chose to make a positive change. And, um, you know, my why is to make people proud and to leave a lasting legacy that I hope, you know, people will um, be inspired by. Awesome. And at some stage, you know, the swimming will stop. We hope it goes on for a bit longer yet. And we've got our <laughs> fingers crossed for Paris, obviously. But I mean, that's your call, not ours. But beyond that, have you started to plan the next phase of your life post-swimming? I have. Uh, this past couple of years has allowed me to um, find a bit of a balance outside of swimming. Um, I have a passion for fashion. So um, I have now started, um, you know, in that direction of hoping to get into the fashion business. And uh, it's a really nice change to be able to have, um, you know, two things going at once and to also have a nice balance in my life. Well, it has been such an absolute delight to chat to you, Sophie, on such an auspicious occasion. Dame Sophie Pascoe, do we call you that? Is that what we call you now? <laughs> I think you have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to do it. I am happy However, to do it. However, I am still Sophie, and I think that's, um, you know, the most important thing, that this title doesn't change my values or who I am as an athlete or person going forward, and that's why it's such an honour to obviously receive this title. It's been a delight to chat to you. All the best for what lies ahead, and, and thanks again for taking some time with us. Thank you so much. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.